now, the rest of the story. Since the premiere of this channel's video, the Atwater Kent Model 5 and the mysterious Model 8, we have some new information. Some of the mystery of the Model 8 has been resolved. The new information comes from Greg Bristow, the stepson of Ralph Williams, the leading expert on Atwater Kent radios. Additional information was also provided by Grant Kornberg, well-known seller of antique radios and other items. Recent communications between Ralph Stepson and the museum have shed new light on the history of the Model 8 and clears up a misconception in the video mentioned earlier. It was reported in the earlier video that according to Ralph Williams' article in the 1999 American Wireless Association Review, Ralph wrote that the Model 8 had consisted of a Type 11 tuner, a variable condenser, an RF coil, and a 5-2 bilin. The article included this picture of a Model 8. In Ralph and John Wilkonowitz's 2002 book titled A. Atwater Kent, The Man, the Manufacturer, and His Radios, Ralph and John had written that the Model 8 had consisted of a Type 11 tuner, a variable condenser, and a 5-2 bilin, no RF coil. That article included this picture of Model 8. New information from Grant Kornberg brings to light the fact that the 2002 book was a compilation of older articles written long before that date, in the mid to late 1970s. At the time, Ralph Williams only had an Atwater Kent publicity rendering of the Model 8, showing the radio from the front. From that angle, the RF coil is well hidden by a variable condenser. According to Ralph's stepson, Greg Bristow, Ralph Williams had gotten hold of an actual Model 8 somewhere between 1998 and the year 2000, one of the original factory built at Water Camp Model 8s. Ralph's new find included the Type 11 tuna, the variable condenser, and then RF coil, but it was missing its 5-2 bilin. So Ralph transplanted one from a Model 5 he had to complete the set. For some reason, Ralph and John's 2002 book was not updated with the new information on the Model 8. According to the forward in the 1999 American Wireless Association Review, Ralph's article in that publication was a newly written article, so it's likely he had the actual Model 8 in hand before he wrote the article. Ralph's Model 8 is now in possession of the American Wireless Association. This new information on Ralph's radio brings up another question. While we can be confident the Model 8 was an attempt to improve the selectivity of the Model 5, and we know Ralph Williams' Model 8 was missing its 5-2 bilin, is it possible there were changes made to the circuitry inside the 5-2 island to improve the radio's performance? We may have to wait for the rest of the story. The Roaring Twenties Antique Radio Museum would like to thank Greg Bristow and Grant Kornberg for their contributions to this video. That's it for this video. There will be more to come as we continue to investigate the early history of the world's first mass medium, radio. Thanks for watching.